this video is going to be on some ways to practice with the broadsword. Let's get right to it. Okay, so first of all, we're going to practice some edge alignment. If you haven't heard that term before, it's all about hitting with the sharp side. Now, a broadsword is not sharp on this side, it's sharp on this one. And of course, you don't want to hit with this part of the blade. So, it's all about not doing something like this and hitting here or even just halfway but you want to do clean hits so you can chop and cut off your opponent we're gonna use a wooden broadsword for this and you can use any striking surface where you'll get some sort of feedback Now this sword, I used it, used it once in sparring already and as you can tell it's really gotten bent out of shape. So just this light contact kind of hurt it, but um, you get the idea. Alright, so now we're going to practice what I like to call broadsword push-ups. So I'm going to place this sword. And then I'm gonna do push-ups, but my nose has to touch the blade. Alright, let's get light. And we can count in Mandarin. Yi, ah, sa, se, wo, leo, jie, ba, jiu, shi. Alright, so next up, we're gonna practice our stains and our balance. Okay, so you can practice your mabu, also known as the horse stains, where it's important to keep your, both your feet pointed forward and to keep your upper body upright. And then you can make sure that you have a stable stance by balancing your broadsword. In a moment I'll show a form with the broadsword and at the end of this video I'll link to another way you can practice with the broadsword. Sort of like shadow boxing only with a broadsword. Hey! <laughs> 